So let's talk about cargo bikes and specifically cargo e-bikes. In one of my last videos, I talked a lot about how to live in a city without a car and specifically, obviously, Philadelphia, because that's where I live. And uh, this video, I got a bike from Havsco, the Havsco Havkart, which is their e-bike. And uh, that helped do a lot of the video. And a lot of you had some questions about e-bikes and should I get an e-bike and what kind? So let's talk about e-bikes and let's also talk about this Havsco bike that I received. When it comes to owning e-bikes, majority of people do not need a cargo bike. You're fine with just a normal bike and if you want to slap a basket or a back rack on it that's probably fine. But if you have extra stuff to carry or if you have a lot of groceries for a family or you want to put a kid on the back then a cargo bike is probably the best option for you when it comes to e-bikes. My two biggest problem with most cargo bikes over a normal e-bike is that one they are usually bigger so if you have to fit them up like a elevator or a staircase or something it's kind of annoying. The other thing is usually just investment. Cargo bikes are usually more expensive than normal e-bikes, mainly because they either have a bigger frame, a bigger battery, or a bigger motor. This specific bike, the Havkart, has a 750 watt motor and a 48 volt battery, so it's a bit on the bigger and heavier side when it comes to e-bikes but it does help you carry a lot of stuff and keep up with traffic because it does have the motor and the battery to do that. One thing that's a trend with a lot of new bikes and especially cargo bikes is putting big honking tires on them. Uh, this is good and bad. I kind of like the big tires most of the time because if you hit a pothole, you're not gonna die. Uh, but at the same time, I do like the skinnier tires because oftentimes with the fatter tires, I do feel like you're wasting a lot of energy pushing through the air and through just uh, uh, rolling resistance. But either way, I think for the most part, bigger tires on these e-bikes or things that you're gonna carry heavier things on are generally good. Speaking of heavy things, I like the modular aspect of the Havkart. You can switch out like a rear rack, the rear foot pedals, or a rear seat where a kid or someone else can sit. Like most e-bikes, you can change the amount of assist that the Havkart has. There's also a nice little LCD display that tells you battery, your speed, range, etc. Um, and it has a little assist thing that goes from 1 to 5. When I ride the Havkart, I usually only leave it in either setting 1 or setting 5. 1 for just kind of putting around on trails with other people on bikes to sort of stay with the group and not go too fast. And then 5 for being in the middle of traffic and not feeling like I'm holding anyone up. I love riding my regular bicycles and I like riding the unpowered bike share bikes also, but one of the things with e-bikes that really unlocks the ability to do is to sort of keep up with traffic in 20 to 25 mile an hour zones. Here in Philadelphia, that's a big deal because Philly doesn't have that many bike lanes comparatively to some other very progressive cities, but we do have very narrow streets and majority of the streets will be 25 miles an hour at the speed limit. So if you can keep up to like 20, 25 on an e-bike, you can keep up with most traffic because it's not going to be going that fast. Uh, so plenty of times I'll just put it in the setting five and I will just be keeping up with traffic and I don't feel like I'm blocking anyone and I don't feel unsafe personally because one, you're keeping up and then two, the bike is big enough and it's orange so it's pretty obvious to see and I'm also pretty big so it's like if you can't see me that would be a very big surprise. Uh, but obviously I'm still careful because most drivers can be dumb. Like here in this clip, I'm riding in mode one because I'm riding with someone else and I also don't want to go too fast because it's a tr mixed use trail for both people that are walking and biking. Uh, this is the Wissahickon Park, very beautiful area. Um, but yeah, the Havkart's kind of perfect for both because even though it's a cargo bike and even though it's a little bit bigger, you can sort of uh, use it for both situations where um, you're both on these uh, back trails because you have the fat tires and then also the like main roads and you can keep up with traffic. And when it comes to riding long distance, Havsco rates the distance or range of this thing at 60 miles for the battery. And I could definitely see that working if you were in like mode one and you rode very conservatively and didn't accelerate very hard. Um, on, I like personally accelerating very hard and to ride very aggressively. And even doing that, this thing still gets like probably 20, 25 miles uh, of e-bike range, which is fantastic. I basically uh, charge it up once and then it will go for about like two to three weeks bef 
of use, like me using it probably two, three, four times a week uh, until I actually need to charge it up fully again. E-bikes unlock so much opportunity when it comes to uh, use in a city because obviously if you're not driving a car, you're not paying for much gas at all. And it probably costs maximum of maybe 50 cents to fill the battery up on this all the way. So once you own the bike, it's actually very cheap to own and operate. I'm very glad that Hovsko actually reached out to me in the first place because yeah, obviously they're sending me the bike, but it's really cool to have sponsors that are relevant to the content that you're talking about. Uh, so it's very cool that an e-bike company um, could realize that like urbanism content is actually quite similar in scope to what they're trying to do. And like, yeah, e-bikes in general are something that we should be promoting more as kind of a society because along with uh, trying to reduce cars, you still need to carry stuff. And like, I still pick up a lot of stuff in the city that is bigger than I can carry or just want to take on transit because not every time you want to be lugging a big package around on a bus or something. If a cargo bike and especially a cargo e-bike sounds appealing to you, I do have all the links for this bike down below and there should be some code down below to save you some money on the bike itself. They give me sort of a code either for a sale or for uh, my channel it links to. I have to thank Havsko for sponsoring the video. I always enjoy bike content and it's definitely something I need to talk about more on my main channel with e-bikes in general and just bike lanes and stuff. You'll probably see in the future on the main channel. Um, so it was very refreshing to see this sponsor come and uh, reach out to me in the first place. Uh, either way, yeah, check out the links below and uh, I will keep posting more bike content in the future. Uh, probably about bike lanes sooner or later, very soon, especially Philly ones because they need to improve a lot. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one.